Okay, in this demonstration, we're going to make and label some contour lines. So to orient you, I have um, a 10 meter DEM from the Uinta region in Utah. And we're just going to run the contour tool. I'm going to put in my 10 meter DEM here and name the output contours. Um, I've got that here. Oops. Tour 10 meter or 100 meter. Okay. Um, so contour interval, we want to be 100 meter for this one. You can do whatever you want, but I recommend very round numbers, 100, 10, 100, 1,000, maybe 500. Um, for the base contour, notice that we have a range of values on this DEM from around 1,500 to 2,100 meters. So what we want to do if we're going to have 100 meter contours is set an even number that's within this range. So I put a base contour of 1,600 meters. That, that's going to make sure that each contour line is at the even 100 meter mark. All right, and then the contour type, obviously contour. So we'll run that and see what we get. All right, and it's made some nice teal green contours for us. So now we want to label these. Right click and turn on labeling. And we've got some pretty funky numbers that aren't elevations because they're too small, right? We need to have numbers that are in the thousands. So something must be uh, different. Labeling properties is going to show us what's being labeled. And it's the feature ID, which doesn't make any sense. We don't want that. So we're going to change that to contour. Hit apply. it again if it doesn't cooperate and now you can see we have nice um, 100 division contours they're just kind of crowded and they are sitting all over the place so let's work on that if we go to position first I think um, the placement gives us options on this first icon and we can actually choose a contour placement which puts it on top of the line which is a good start um, we can also change it from centered straight to centered curved, which I think looks a little bit nicer. There are a lot of things that we can do in here to clean this up, but I think that's a good start. Now under symbol, one of the things we could do is try and match the color a little bit. No, oh, you can't see that. It's cut off, but I'm going to pick kind of a teal green color. Oh, this is not working out very well. Let's try that. Okay, and then we'll apply that. We might want it to be a little bit darker. Granted, your contour lines are never gonna be blue. You're gonna want them to be tan or gray or something like that, but just so you can see it. And now to make them a little bit more readable, we could put a halo on there. Now the halo symbol right now, there isn't one. So let's change that to just a solid color. And we want it to be white, I think. But let's make it somewhat transparent um, so it's not completely covering. Uh, so, I mean, it's not, anyway. Okay, so let's make it just a little bit transparent and then let's apply it and see how that looks. So, yeah, what we have is a white halo, but it's a little bit see through so we can still see the base map, or in this case, the DEM. We can still see the contour line below it. Um, I'm not convinced that that's the best way to do it, but for right now, let's run with it. Um, I do want to go back and make the symbol size a little bit smaller because it looks a bit big. And then I'll show you one more trick. All right, so if we zoom out a little bit, um, you can see that they're resizing as we go. So you might want to set your font size um, to either lock to the contour or when you set up your layout and you know what scale your map's going to be displaying at, you can dial in the font size of your contour lines to fit well. Um, but one thing we can do is to prevent it from drawing labels if we're zoomed way out because it'll get really cluttered and we probably don't want that on the map. So you can see that um, that's not too bad, but you really wouldn't label your contour lines at this scale. So if we go back into the label class tab here, uh, let's 
let's see here. Uh, we Sorry, we can find the information that we need, the settings, um, under the original class tab and then go to this visibility range tab. We can choose to not show the labels when zoomed out and maybe out at past maybe 150, one to 150,000 scale. And so now you can see they've turned off, but when we zoom in to something below one to 150,000, our labels come back. So just a couple tricks. Questions, let me know.